back to Phuket News TV. Well, I hope you're not having dinner or lunch at the moment because uh, we're going to be talking about a subject that a lot of people find very difficult to talk about. But more importantly, just recently, the Bangkok Hospital here in Phuket held a symposium for colorectal disease. Now, okay, we'll get around to what that is specifically very soon, but it's a great pleasure to have here uh, Arjan Art or Dr. Art, and uh, you were the organiser of what? It's a great big long list. You might be able to say it better than me. Right. It's actually the International Symposium in Correctal Disease. Um, We uh, held it with uh, the International College of Surgeons, uh, Thai Society of uh, Colon and Rectal Surgeons, and, of course, the Vajra Phuket Hospital as well. Okay. Now, a very important symposium. I mean, it's all very well to have a bit of a giggle because it's about a sort of very personal issues, people's plumbing and bits and pieces. Um, let's have a talk about the, the Thai diet and uh, how the Thai diet ranks with other diets in the world uh, to contribute to colorectal disease. Like usually, basically, the, the incidence of uh, colon and rectal cancers in Thailand is quite low. Like previously, we hardly got that kind of patient uh, to be operated on. But uh, opposite to whatever is going on in uh, overseas and Western countries, um, you guys have a lot of uh, this, this kind of patients. And as uh, our borders opened, a lot of, a lot of uh, Western cultures um, coming in and we, we found recently that uh, the incidence of uh, colorectal cancers in Thailand is increasing. So we thought that the, one of the, the causes of these diseases is the, the environment. And the, the most important environment to the guts would be whatever we eat. So we're, okay, we're saying that it's the introduction of some of the Western fast foods and uh, their inclusion in the Thai diet these days that might be contributing? Yeah, because like uh, in the old day, we we mainly took rice and we took lots of fresh vegetables, fruits, and we haven't um, eaten that much of the red meat, as opposite to the the Western style kind of diet. Um, I believe you 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 usually like mainly take red beef like red meats and less vegetables and most of the time uh, you know like your food is has been processed so i think those factors uh contributing to to the the disease and that's why we we, we are getting more and more uh, incidence of uh, colon and rectal cancers as we have changed our diet and lifetimes. Looking around the world, what other diets uh, that are really ranking very high in colorectal disease? I think, as you mentioned about fast food, you know, like processed food, high, uh, high calories kind of diet, very sweet kind of diet, very fatty kind of diet, those diet would be um, major risk factors for colon and rectal cancers. Well, I have to ask, what did you have for breakfast this morning? <laughs> I usually have my uh, brown rice and uh, with uh, vegetables and I like fish myself. You know, like white meat is good for your health, like chicken or fish would be would be best to your gut. Let's have a look at the actual uh, conference that you uh, you held recently. Uh, you had a really exciting announcement as far as people living in Phuket's concerned, uh, establishing a new institute here at Bangkok Hospital Phuket. Right. So basically the the conference that we, we just held in uh, from the 8th to the 10th of December this year, um, we talked about, we, we talked all about colorectal diseases including benign condition and um, cancer um, 
knowledge. We have symposium, we have uh, lectures, we have panels, we have live surgeries, well, and, and we also have like workshops. We, we were lucky enough to have uh, lots of uh, delegates from all over the world, from UK, Germany, Canada, States, um, and lots of country, countries in Asia as well, uh, such as like Singapore, um, Bangladesh, India, you know, those, those kind of countries. And then uh, we also have uh, the attention from the whole part of Thailand, from Chiang Mai, lots of delegates from Chiang Mai, from uh, Konkan and Bangkok, and then down south like Gela, Nalatiwat, everybody seemed to be interested in coming and joining us for the conference. And oh, it's been held in Phuket, of course. Right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, especially in this time of the year as well. Very beautiful Phuket. You know. Yeah. So the institute that's been established, what does that mean for our health? It means we've got better access to better knowledge about colorectal disease here on the island? Yeah, since our population in Phuket is quite unique as compared to the other part of Thailand, we have lots of... Uh, uh, people moved in from all over the world. We have uh, lots of patients from uh, European country, North American countries. So we experience lots of uh, different uh, diseases as compared to the other part of Thailand, especially colorectal diseases. We found that we we have we have seen a lot of patients with these problems. That's why we decided to. Uh, have for to put the new institution here in Phuket just to take care of this group of patients, colorectal diseases patients. Let's finish by having a uh, talk about the very serious issue of prevention and which age group should be uh, getting regular examination and uh, males, females? Yeah, we like colon and rectal cancers is lucky enough as well that, you know, like some in some cancers like breast cancer we only could find the the early cancer lesion but for colon and rectal cancers we can find like a benign condition which is a polyp which can turn to cancer and if we find the polyp and we resect the polyp remove the polyp then we can prevent cancer totally so that's why we're trying to uh, campaign over prevention or screening programs for all the for everybody in Phuket uh, the indication for screening is quite uh, well known in other countries but not not in Thailand everybody both male and female uh, should come for the screening at the age of 50 the best screening way to to detect the polyp would be colonoscopy or to put the camera in your colon through the anus just to see whether or not uh, you have the polyp and then if you remove all the polyp uh, the person can 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 be free from cancers okay well i'm over 50 and uh, my eyes are watering just thinking about that is a colonoscopy painful i mean i'm sure a lot of males and females need to know that right it's it's actually we 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 we, we put sedation we put patients to uh, to be half sleep so most of them will not feel what's going on during the procedure and then they whenever they wake up uh, they'll find that uh, everything is done and they couldn't remember any pain or any bad experiences during the procedure okay all right that makes me feel a bit better well, thank you very much uh, for your time. Congratulations on the establishment of the Institute here at uh, Bangkok Hospital in Phuket. And thanks for joining us here on Phuket News TV. Thank you. Thanks. Well, an important subject, and it's uh, incredible to think that here in Phuket we've got access to such uh, modern medicine these days. So here at Bangkok Phuket Hospital, this is the place to come if you need to have your regular examination. And I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to wind this up, so I'll do that again. I'll do, just pull in with a, um, I know you did, but just do a sort of a, uh, a head and shoulder and we'll cut to me at some appropriate point. Sorry about this. 
Don't want me doing your colonoscopy. Oh, whoops, I made a mistake. I'll have to do it again. <laughs> well, a very important initiative here at uh, Bangkok Hospital Phuket and uh, the establishment of this institute is indeed very important. So congratulations to the people here at Bangkok Hospital Phuket for not only establishing this particular institute, but also holding the symposium. And they'll be holding a lot more symposiums in the future. It's great to know that you can live in this island and know that we have access to such good medical care. Thanks for joining us on Phuket News TV. Watch us where you want, when you want. Your smartphone, tablet, laptop, anywhere, anytime. Keep informed and up to date, Phuket News TV.